So we're going to go over how to do subdivisions just like they did at Pixar. The first thing you're going to do is start a new project by clicking on File, New, General, and it'll give you this cube here. Then we're going to make sure that we are in edit mode and we have all of these tools here. The next thing we want to do is add in our subdivisions. We're going to do that by right clicking on our object. Now if our object's not selected by pressing A you can get the object selected just pressing the A key. Then we're going to right click on our object and go to subdivide. And we can see it has put in all of our subdivisions for us. Now over here in the lower left hand corner is a pop-up menu and we can increase the number of cuts. We can increase the number of cuts all the way up to 10. Now this is part we have to be a little bit careful of because the more subdivisions we add the more stress it puts on your computer, the more power processing power you need. So you may have to do some experimentation with this to see how much your computer can handle. But once we've done that, we can close that window, click off our cube, and we have our subdivisions. But if we want to subdivide it further, we can select all again, right click, go to subdivision, and we it does the whole process again using our numbers from before. So we can go all the way to 10, and we have our 10 subdivisions. Now, the other thing we can do is smooth the whole thing out. So instead of just having this cube that we can sculpt with a bunch of subdivisions, what we can do is switch this and increase the smoothness level. So if I increase this, it goes from 0 all the way up to 1. We can just type in a 1. And we can see it kind of has smoothed out our second round of subdivisions. If we want to go back and smooth out our first round of subdivisions, we have to go through and redo the process. So I'm going to go through and do another one. New, General. Don't save that. And we're going to go to Object, Edit Mode. And I'm going to make sure I have everything selected. I'm going to right click and go to subdivide and this time I'm going to switch this from just being one cut to 10 but I'm also going to change the smoothness and you'll watch now as I increase the cuts it becomes more like a sphere than it did a cube. So now we have this sphere kind of shape because all of the things are subdivided and averaged together just like they did in the Pixar video to get a ball of clay that you could then manipulate. So I got my first set of subdivisions. I'm going to click off my object, click A, right click, subdivide again, and you can see I still have my smoothness and I can start increasing my subdivisions. And doing it twice might, two or three times might be the limit of your computer. Um, you can kind of see how far it can get, but now you can see that we have all these teeny tiny subdivisions on our circle, our sphere. I can now switch to sculpt mode. And I have the ability to use all my sculpting tools in order to edit my shape. Whereas before, I really couldn't change much at all. And that's how we do our subdivision in Blender.